<clears throat> Frank Campana, followed by Robert Rhodes and Elizabeth Hayes. Well, thank you very much for an opportunity to speak. Um, obviously, I'm going to speak on as an ambassador to Lord Jesus Christ. We're a nation that doesn't fear God anymore. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. I'm a father of nine children. You know, two of them are here right now. I have two grandchildren. I raise them in the fear and admonition of the Lord. The warning signs of not to go there. The Bible clearly shows in Romans 1 that a man that does such thing has been given over. His mind is not right. He's been given over to a vile passion. You understand, I care about those that have been given over to a vile passion. Why? Because I know in the Second Corinthians where it says, In some were such of you, but you've been bought with a price. That price is the blood of Jesus Christ. My friend, Jesus loves you and he can set you free from the bondage of homosexuality today by the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm here to proclaim the truth and the truth will set this nation free. Our nation was built on the foundation principles of the Judeo-Christian values. Understanding this, the greatest command that God gave a man to love God with all their heart, all their soul, and all their strength. And Jesus knew who he was talking with. They finished it up and said, oh, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one you shall love the lord your god with all your heart all your soul and all your strength and teach it diligently to your children when they rise up when they're by the way and when they lie down a nation is great because it served the living god this nation was great because it served god and this nation was great because it was good and if this nation ceases to be good it will cease to be great because it does not serve the living god and this is a rebuke this is a prophetic call to our nation that we once turn our eyes back to god God. Don't turn your eyes. The Bible says this. It's a pointing out to one man to die and then the judgment. You're going to give an account of everything you do before God one day. And if you shake your fist or your face at me, brother, you're going to get before the living God. And let me tell you this. You will melt like wax in the presence of God if you have not the blood of Jesus Christ of your heart. The Bible says every knee will bow and tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee, every knee will bow and we're called to be soft and light. And light exposes darkness. This is a wickedness. We know what this indoctrination is. It's an indoctrination of evil to present evil for our children. Our children are empty vessels. They're blessings from God. The Bible says they're a heritage from God. Passed down and we say God bless America. Guess what God blessed America with? with our children to teach them the ways of God, the ways they should go. Our nation once was great because it saw that. Alexis de Tocqueville came to this nation to see why this nation was so great. This nation was so great because the families in this nation were good. And if we cease to be good, we'll cease to be great. Let me express to you this, my friend. 1 Corinthians 6.11 says this, And some were such of you, meaning adultery, fornicators, drunkards, homosexuality, but you've been bought with a price, my friend. You want to be accepted? You want to be loved? Turn your eyes to the Lord Jesus Christ. Bend you to the living God. He will set you free from the bonds of sin. The Thank Bible you, says sir. there's your not time is up. No, not one. Thank you, sir. All your time is up. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Thank God you, is sir. eternal life is through Christ Jesus. Amen. Robert. And then Elizabeth.